Hey, what is up guys, Bongodes here. So today I'm going to show you how to pitch your 808s and hi-hats and kick off a band lab. A lot of you know how to do this already, but some of you actually don't. And I just want to explain it so everyone knows, and let's get into it. So first things first, you need to get a sampler, and this seems to be the thing that trips people up the most. I'm going to show you four versions of samplers, and then I'm actually going to show you how to install them. So let's get into this. So there are really four good options for samplers, and they are a complete control, Citadel sampler, ADSR sampler, TX16WX sampler. A pro of complete control is that it's super duper duper versatile, and you can use it for basically everything. A con is that it's really hard to install. A pro for complete control is also that it comes with a whole bunch of pre-stock sounds that are super duper fire. A pro with TX16 WA sampler is that it's super duper versatile. You can basically do everything except one little thing is that it has so many buttons on here that it might be confusing to someone who's beginning. ADSR sampler is really good for sample managing, except um, it's really, really laggy and it glitches out a lot. Citadel sampler is really, really good for fine tuning like perks and snares and stuff like that, but you can't actually pitch instruments on here. So you can't pitch hi-hats and you can't pitch 808s. If you're going to install Citadel sampler, ADSR sampler, or TX16WX sampler, um, you can skip to this time on the screen, but I'm going to explain how to install Complete Start. So basically, Complete Control is a part of a big package called Complete Start. So I have the link to Complete Start in the description. And when you get here, you'll see um, Get Complete Start for free. Push Download Now. So I what I want you to do is push Download Native Access for Windows right here. And then you're going to save it as a zip file. Once you open up your zip file, you're going to be asked to install native access and you can install that just like you normally would. Then it's going to be asking you to create a native ID and you want to type in your email, make a password and all that kind of stuff and do all that kind of stuff. And then once you've done all that, you'll be welcomed into native access. And then on the left side of this tab, you're going to want to push not installed and you're going to see all of the plugins that you haven't installed yet, which is going to include basically all this stuff here. And then if you look over this, all this stuff, you can see complete control, which is right here. You're going to want to push download on complete control. And then it's going to show you like all the product description stuff up here. And in the installation path, this is what you want to take note of. Here's how you install this into Cakewalk. So look at this. It has VST64 location, your C drive, program files, native instruments, VST plugins, 64 bits. Now let's open up our file manager, click on the C drive, and then it says program files. So we click on progr program files. Then it says native instruments. So we'll find native instruments. And then finally, VSD plugin 64 bit. And just like that, you'll see complete control.dll in that folder. Okay, so this is when the people who installed the other samplers are gonna join in. So, what you gotta do is you gotta find the DLL file of the sampler you wanna use. So, this is complete control.dll, but there's also gonna be like Citadel sampler.dll and other things like that. And then, when you find the folder that that DLL is in, I want you to click here and copy the ad address that the sampler is in. Then, you open up Cakewalk, go to edit. And then preferences, go to VST settings, and then click this little add button here. And now you have to find that specific folder inside of this little um, browser window. So this PC, um, C drive, program files, native instruments, VST 64 bit. Find the folder that the DLL is located in, click on that folder and push OK. And when you push scan here, it's going to um, look through every single one of these folders you've lifted, listed here, and it's gonna find all of the VSTs that are located in that folder. Okay, great. Now you have a sampler installed on your computer. Now you can actually make music using other people's samples. One last problem, you don't have samples yet. So I have a whole bunch of links in the description recommending free um, trap sample packs, and you can download those. And then inside those folders, when you extract them out, you'll be finding a whole bunch of WAV files of 808s and hi-hats or whatever you need. Um, so that, that should get you started with all that stuff. I have some big news, guys. How do I look? So you want to open up the sampler you're using, and you want to go to the Files tab and find the place where you have all your 808s and stuff stored. So mine are over here. And just like that, it's complete control is ready to go. If you're using the ADSR sampler, you just gotta find your 808s in here, and then, and then you're gonna wanna turn off DOS sync, and then turn off a loop, and turn it to stop. There's one thing I'd be careful of though, um, is that these things completely um, cut themselves. So like if you play one note, and then run one note right after it, did you hear that click? That click gets really annoying when you're making a good amount of music. So that, that's why I don't recommend ADSR sampler. Last but not least in TX16WX sampler, you're gonna wanna find the sample that you wanna use. 
For example, um, in this kit, I'll use this 808. When you click on your sample, you can hit this little play button and it samples what it's gonna sound like. Then you go up here to regions and, dr and drag your file to this region area. It doesn't matter where. And then stretch it out so that it extends over the whole distance. Double click on root here and then like drag this to a C. And then you can even fine tune even more by going to sounds and you can change the ADSR of the kind of stuff and you can turn down the decay and all that kind of stuff. I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, just keep creating. See you guys next week Thursday. Woo!